The film begins with a family consisting of a mother and her four children. The eldest is Jack, the only daughter is Jane, the bravest child is Billy, and the youngest is Sam. They move to the house where their mother grew up. The house is very eerie as it has been uninhabited for a long time. They moved also because the mother had issues with her husband. She changes her children's surname from Fairbairn to Marrowbone, which is her maiden name, while Fairbairn is their father's surname. The reason for the name change is to distance themselves from their father and live with their mother. She tells them that in this house, they will start a new life and all bad memories, especially those of their father, must be forgotten. The family lives peacefully in their new home, like any happy family. Jack and his siblings also meet their neighbor, Allie, who becomes their friend. At the beach, they play together, and Allie helps the family forget their past. A few days later, their mother falls ill and entrusts Jack with keeping her death a secret because she is gravely ill and near death. She asks Jack to swear to take care of his siblings. Then, she instructs Jack to take a box from the cupboard filled with a lot of money, which belongs to their father, and asks him to hide the box if their father comes. Naturally, Jack is angry because this is why their father keeps chasing them. However, soon after, their mother dies in her bed. A letter from their mother states that Jane must replace her as the caretaker of Sam, and the mother apologizes for not being able to accompany them as they grow up. She asks Billy to control his emotions and not let them overwhelm him. Jack is tasked with keeping his siblings safe. They all promise to take care of each other. One day, Jane sees a man shooting the windows of their house and it turns out to be their father. Six months later, they all still live in the house and Jack remains faithful to his mother's words to take care of his siblings. They are happy as usual, playing and being like any happy family. As the eldest brother, Jack tries to provide for the family. When they go to town, Jack markets his goods, and the shop owner asks about his mother's health. Is she recovered from her illness? Jack lies to the shop owner, saying that his mother is still unwell due to the weather change. After the incident of their father shooting the house, Sam feels something odd in their home, as if terrorized by an unseen fear. He always feels haunted when looking at mirrors. However, Jane always calms him down, saying that the ghost does not exist. To calm Sam's fears, Jack tries to cover all the mirrors in the house with plain cloth so Sam won't see the mirrors again. But when he covers a mirror with cloth, suddenly something drips from the roof. And when Jack tries to look at the roof, suddenly feels dizzy and goes back down. Jack approaches Allie at her workplace, the library. And it seems Jack likes Allie because Jack and Allie have already shared a quite romantic kiss. Jack also hides his mother's death from Allie and asks her not to visit their house for now. In their conversation, a solicitor named Porter arrives, dealing with the legalization of land and home ownership. Porter gives Jack a letter to be signed by his mother and asks for a payment of $200. Upon arriving home, Jack discusses this with his siblings. They agree that Porter must not find out about their mother's death, and they also don't have that much money only $50 from their mother's savings. Billy suggests taking the money from their father's box, but Jane refuses because they promise not to use it. With no other choice, Jack instructs Billy to retrieve their father's hidden money box. After the money is taken, Jane disapproves of Jack and Billy's actions, but Jack explains there is no other option to pay the solicitor. He also asks Jane to forge their mother's signature. When Porter arrives, he waits too long and tries to enter the house. Jack knows Porter is in front of their mother's room. Quickly, Jack hands over the letter with the forged signature by Jane. Porter is suspicious of Jack but can't do much as he is just a solicitor. After the paperwork is completed, the house officially belongs to Jack's mother. They all feel relieved that the house is officially theirs. However, Sam remains fearful even though all the mirrors are covered. They all gather and play snakes and ladders. Everything seems safe, but suddenly Billy throws the dice too far and Sam is asked to check it. Sam screams because the mirror cover is open. They all run to a tent they made and take shelter there, believing that a ghost in the mirror will attack them. Jack recovers the mirror. Seeing a hole in the roof, Jack is curious and looks through it, suddenly seeing someone above. 
causing him to faint from shock. Jane says it's all because of the curse in the box, so they must dispose of the money box. Billy, the bravest, plans to throw the money box into the chimney. Meanwhile, Sam, curious about his mother's room, finds the mirror cover open again and sees something terrifying, causing him great trauma. Because of this, they all argue about the bad thoughts that always haunt them. Jack is blamed by his siblings for allowing the bad thoughts to haunt them, namely their father. Allie, who has just arrived at the library, meets Porter, who declares his love for her. However, Allie rejects him because she and Jack have a special relationship. Disappointed, Porter then tells Allie about Jack's father, known to be very criminal and often abusive to his children. When Jack returns from a date with Allie, he finds Porter already at their house. Porter demands a ransom from Jack, feeling lied to about his mother's death and the signature on the paperwork. Porter also knows about the existence of Jack's father's money box, worth about $10,000. Jack and his siblings are confused because their father's money box has been thrown into the chimney, and it will be difficult for them to retrieve such an amount of money. Eventually, they all agree to retrieve the money box that has been thrown away. Billy the Bravest will retrieve the box, but suddenly a mysterious man pulls Billy. Fortunately, Billy is safe, but he fails to retrieve the money box. Knowing this, Jack suddenly starts convulsing, and Jane suggests asking Allie for help because only Allie can help him. That night, Jack's sibling informs Allie with Morse code to meet them where they first met. The next day, Allie arrives at the place and finds Jack's diary. Allie then reads the book, and at the same time, Porter comes to Jack's house to demand a ransom. In the diary, the secrets of Jack's family are revealed. This diary answers what happened six months earlier. At that time, Jack locked his siblings on the roof and locked it to keep them safe. Then Jack confronted his father and drove him away. Jack tried to give his father's money box to a place where his father was waiting. Suddenly, Jack's father hit him with the money box and tried to kill him. However, fortunately, Jack had a knife and stabbed his father in the neck. Jack's father, who had just been stabbed, got up and chased Jack to the edge of a cliff. Then his father choked Jack and threw him down into a rocky ravine, causing Jack to faint temporarily. His father then returned home through the chimney, finding Jack's younger siblings hiding there. When Jack woke up, he ran to his house and called all his siblings, but it turned out that all his siblings had been killed by their father. After losing his siblings, Jack developed a mental disorder, namely multiple personalities, and all this time, the role of his siblings was played by Jack himself. This is also why their roof was dripping something. It was the blood of his siblings. Allie is shocked to read Jack's diary and immediately runs to Jack's house to see his condition. Meanwhile, Porter, curious, looks at the roof and finds the door closed with bricks. He tries to enter and finds the bodies of Jack's siblings. Upon arriving at the house, Allie sees for herself that Jack is talking to himself, as if he is playing the role of his siblings. Allie is also curious and climbs onto the roof of their house. Suddenly she sees Porter, who has died along with Jack's siblings. Suddenly Jack's father, who is indeed on the roof, attacks Allie. Allie is choked and slammed, almost dying during the attack. When Allie screams for help to Billy because she knew that Billy was the bravest, Jack, hearing this, immediately changes his personality to Billy and helps Allie, who is being attacked. Without a second thought, Jack, now Billy, shoots his own father. After the incident, Allie immediately goes to the doctor to consult about Jack's condition. The doctor says that Jack has a multiple personality disorder, and such a person is unpredictable and quite dangerous. However, Allie stays with Jack in that condition. The medicine given by the doctor is deliberately not given by Allie to Jack, because the medicine could make Jack's thoughts about his siblings disappear, and Allie feels Jack still needs the presence of his siblings. The film ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.